can say. Do you have to feel like you're in fifth best shape in your life right now? I'm definitely there. Sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Good. I'm in a point where, you know how you're excited, you just, you just let everybody show. You just want to show everybody. You don't even want to talk about it. It's just, you know, you know the work you put in. So it's just now it's time. We, we were it's time. We're so we're supposed to show it. It seems like a consistent theme with that summer league squad that you were a part of was just making the most of your opportunity from Boogie Ellis, what he was able to do to, you, to yourself, even going back to your time in Stockton last year. Just how rewarding was going through this summer and, and all the work you put in to get to this point, knowing you're going to contribute to this uh, King's I feel like my reward from last year was from the G League, just the time I spent in the G League and the time I spent with Coach Lindsey and the whole coaching staff and really just building who I was as a player in person from there. And that's really where my reward came from and just following it from starting from there, building the foundation from the G and going into Summer League and just building that foundation from the G, building it to continue to go into Summer League. And now where we're at now, tomorrow is the first day of training camp. So I'm just excited to continue to show the discipline and consistency level that I didn't show it all summer. So I'm excited. Okay, so when you come in as a two-way guy, but there's an opportunity here. There's another roster spot sitting there. Is that what your focus is? Oh, that's that's totally my focus. And that was my focus from the first day we lost last or the last day we lost last year to our exit meeting. That was that was the reason why I did the trans transformation in my body and all the hard work and dedication I didn't put in the summer is for that reason. And I don't have it now, but that's a long-term goal for whenever it happens, it happens. If it does, it don't. If it does, it does. I'm just focusing on one day at a time, and that's just getting better from the following day and then being the best day I can. And that's where we're at right now. You lost like 40 plus pounds last season, like, but now you've been able to like make it who you are. How big is that for you to sort of transform yourself? Uh, it just shows the, the consistent level and the discipline level. I was able to show when I first came back, yeah, I was out of shape and I was just dealing with a lot of things. But now that I'm more focused, I'm more disciplined, I'm more in tune and I'm back and my mental is way better than where it was at the time when I first got here. It really just shows that the actions and my words match. You know, every Everything that I said I was going to do when I first got here, I didn't did. And I think that's the reason why I'm still around. But it just shows that, like I said, just one day at a time and just I want to continue to get better one day at a time. You look at this roster, and obviously it's full of talent. You obviously see opportunity there as well. Um, what, what, do you, what do you feel people should know about maybe this collection of this, of this group as they head up into training? Uh, I think I, we're going to be together. Really, really strong this year. And you can just see the energy when we all work out together and the energy in the locker room and how we talk to each other now. You can just tell people is very excited for what to come as a king this year. And I'm excited too. So I just take it day by day, try to cherish every moment, continue to know that we all gonna continue to push each other because we all want one goal and that's to be the last team standing. But we know that that's a day by day process. And we know that it's one day at a time. We can't look forward to July, not July, June. We gotta, we gotta take it one day, one day at a time and that's tomorrow. So many fans love when you color your hair. Is it gonna happen again or are you gonna go no, I actually been thinking about changing it. I just haven't decided to curl it yet. But I like the black hair right now. Um, my color and, and my hair, it always means something and who I am at the moment as a person. And the black hair right now just shows my discipline and my consistency level just to, OK, I'm I'm just getting it in that down and dirty mode right now. And I'm whatever it takes to, to do what I need to do, I'm willing to do it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Appreciate it. Thanks, man.